Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So, um, I mentioned this for the Capricorn people, and uh, I'm seeing it once again in your spread, okay? I feel like this is a really lighthearted type of a week for a lot of people. The energy is just really buoyant. It's, it's very lighthearted. It's really fun, and... Um, you know, gone are the days with pretenses, getting our, putting our walls up, being defensive. And uh, uh, I'm not saying that with you guys, but I'm, I just feel like the energy, the emotions are a lot easier to read for me. And so I feel like a lot of people have um, either major awakenings, they have had cleared up a lot of communication issues and misunderstandings between themselves and another person, or they're just a lot more open and honest as we move towards you know the end of the year so it feels to me like there has been some drastic major energy change happening across the board clearing of old energy releasing of past resentments and you know moving forward moving forward with more of an open arm light-hearted energy okay so let me talk to you about the person that you're dealing with okay i have here the magician and um, I feel you have met your match, okay? This is somebody who is just as smart as you. And um, they feel like you're their exact mental match, okay? And the, the, the thing is, with a lot of Aquarius people, you like really smart people. You are impressed by intelligence. You're not so much impressed by charm. You're impressed by people who are who know a lot of things about a lot of things, who can strike up conversations, who can, you know, um, connect with people from all walks of life, who don't have prejudices, who are very open minded and who is, um, you know, independent and also self-made. OK, so you're very, very attracted to different qualities, I feel, compared to all the other signs. You're attracted to different things in your relationship partner. It's not just the looks and the bank account and the car and the, the nice clothes. You like a certain type of man or woman that can hold their own, and especially you want them to be intelligent. You're not going to be running around dating somebody that you don't feel is smart enough for you. Okay, so I feel like you, you've met your match. And this person, likewise, they are very attracted to intelligence. They're attracted to people who can hold their own, who can socialize with people from all walks of life. And um, I feel like they see something very special in you. And the connection is, is really, really strong. So this person is somebody who might have, who, who's like very dominant and, and alpha. I'm getting like very strong alpha energy. They're very dominant. Um, I don't feel like they're manipulative. I don't sense that with this. I just feel like they uh, they might not talk a lot, but when they talk, it makes an impact, okay? They're very clear. If things have been confusing, they're very clear about what they want. They're very clear about their intentions. And they're showing you something. The magician shows, right? The magician shows. He shows you what he wants you to see. It's like that sleight of hand, the, the trickster, but in this card, he's conjuring and, and, and pulling something up, like pulling the water out of the, the earth. He's showing you something. He's starting to show his emotions for you. And you could be, you know, male or female. This person, male or female, they are starting to show you what they feel. They're starting to show you their emotions. And I feel like, in a way, they're kind of screaming out, you know, here it is. Is this what you wanted this whole time? Here it is. Here you go. And they're doing it because they're frustrated that things have not been moving between the two of you. Things have taken so long. And I'm also hearing as well, this person might be like, what do you want from me? I'm giving you everything. What, are, what do you want from me? So they want you to communicate. They want you to not hold back. They want you to lay it all on the table and then see what happens. Just lay it all out on the table, okay? They're getting a little bit frustrated, I'm feeling, but they're starting to show their emotions. They're starting to show you what you mean to them. And uh, I'm going to say this. This is not somebody that talks. This is somebody that shows you. They do things to show you. 
you're the air sign, you're the talker, not that you talk a lot, but you know, you expect it to come verbally. And this person has been doing things in a very nonverbal way. They do things to show you that they care. And I feel like they're frustrated because you're not paying attention and they feel like you're not paying attention. But the way in which you understand how much you mean to them is if they talked about it, right? If they told you, you mean the world to me, but this person doesn't operate that way. They like to show, okay? They like to show what they do and they like to, you know, show that they care through their actions. What I'm feeling is with your energy, I have here the high priestess. So you've met your match. One person is showing, the other person is hiding. Okay, so I, I feel like this is like uh, one step forward, two steps back type of energy. It's like the dance between two people. This person is now finally coming forward with, towards you with really strong emotions and you get scared and you kind of, oh, I don't know. And so they feel like you're very, 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 you're like an enigma. It's like that, that um, butterfly, you want to catch it in your net, okay? It's like the, the person that is um, here today, but very elusive, and they might not be around. You're almost like a mirage, too good to be true. And so they're like, what's going on? There's no one that perfect. And so they see you as a little bit of a... I'm seeing here like um, just an enigma, like kind of like a mirage. It has to be false. It's too good to be true. And I also feel like you have been hiding your emotions for this person for quite some time. But um, they're stepping forward, which is good. What's standing between the two of you? I have a third party. Okay, so for some of you, there could be a water sign standing in between you. So this could be a person that you're coupled with. This could be a person that they're coupled with. I feel it's the person they're coupled with. They could possibly be married to this person here with the four of wands, which is marriage. And so there is physically somebody standing in your way. For those of you who that doesn't apply to, we have here the nine of swords, which is you being inundated with a lot of fear. Fear of intimacy, fear of starting a relationship, fear of being vulnerable, fear of the other person is too dominant and too strong. Their energy is very, very alpha. And you don't want to lose control. You don't want to, you know, be controlled by a relationship partner. And at the same time, this person is so strong, they're intimidating. It's intimidation. And I feel like Aquarius, you don't get intimidated easily, but you've met your match. And, and hence, this... You know, when they step forward, you step back. And I feel like that's what's happening here. And so I see a lot of fear from your end. And then if there's a third party, you know, somebody that they're involved with, I see a lot of guilt as well, okay, with this Nine of Swords. So be very careful about that. Um, the way that they see you, we have here the Prince of Wands. You're very, very proactive. You get things done. You don't talk. You don't sit around and talk about your plans and your dreams and your aspiration. You get out there. You get your hands dirty. And I also feel like you do things without needing to consult other people, without needing a sounding board. You're so independent that when you have a vision, you just go out there and you find the people and the resources and you get things done. So you don't sit around talking about, oh, I wish my life were different or, you know, woe is me. You get things done. And I also feel like many of you have been through many, many, many trials in your life where I, I feel like near death experiences or putting yourselves in situations where you have to learn, you have to go through your karma and you've been hurt in the past, right? We all have been, but I feel like for the Aquarius people, it's especially so. And then this person, the way they see you, it's somebody that doesn't get crippled by life. They move forward, they learn from it and they become stronger and wiser and, and they're a little bit more sure about themselves and they're sure about their drive and their ambition. So it's all, almost like your life experience shaped you to the person that you are. And then on the other hand, with this um, Knight of Wands, they're very, very passionate about you. So somebody is carrying a torch for you. 
This is a secret admirer or somebody who's making their intentions very clear and very known to you. So this is going to be coming out this week, okay? If in the past they've been hesitant or uh, wishy-washy or, you know, blue, hot and cold, this is the month or the week where their energy, I feel, is just like they see you and they go for it. The way you see them, we have here the Four of Wands. You really like this person. You see them as your equal. You see them as a good match. You know you guys are going to be very compatible sexually, um, mentally, energetically, and I feel like spiritually. Okay, you might have different ideas of what love, relationships, and marriage means from this person, but I feel like you know that it can work. You might be very different from them culturally as well, because I see like, you know, two people looking at different directions, but you know that it's a good match and you know that the, the, the feelings that you have is very mutual and you know this person is very, very relationship oriented. They're very serious about relationship. They're not just going to, you know, they're not out looking for a fling or a short term relationship. They want the whole nine yards and they want something stable and real. And you can see yourself building a future with them, having a life with them. And I, I feel like there's somebody, like a third party, standing in the way. They might be married, they might be attached. Hence, there is some back and forth, push and pull type of energy. For those who's not dealing with that, then I just feel like you are just fearful of how powerful this person is. And the, the feelings that they are stirring within you. Okay, I have to pause the video. I do need to uh, run an errand very quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, like I was saying earlier, I just feel like now that it's actually happening, you, there's a lot of fear within you. So when it's in your head, you prayed for it to happen, you know, but when it's in the headspace, everything is safe, everything is orderly. You can control it, you can control your thoughts, you can control the fantasy. But when it's like right in front of you, that's when you get scared and that's when you get, you know, you retreat. This is not a, month, a, a week for you to retreat from another person, okay? Stand your ground and face up to it because I feel like you've been thinking about this person for quite some time. And I feel like this is such a good match, the High Priestess and the Magician. They both have tricks up their sleeves, so I feel like it can be a very, very dynamic and fun and amazing relationship where two people really complement each other. They have something that you're lacking, the showmanship. You have something that they're lacking, which is the mystery, the enigma, the depth of emotion, something behind the scenes, okay? And so give it a chance and don't run away from it. But once again, I'm drawn to this person um, in the middle. So this is a, a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio from your end or from their end. And I feel it's from their end. And there's guilt associated with it, which might explain, you know, why you're scared. But I'm also feeling the High Priestess is usually a hidden woman or a hidden, like a mistress or a mister in a third party situation. So I feel like you are not down to do things that are behind the scenes, okay? Your sense of integrity might be compromised. So I feel like there is temptation here for the, for this week. Um, in terms of your spiritual advice, once again, um, what I'm feeling is take some time to have fun. Take some time to connect with other people. Okay, life doesn't have to be about work, work, work. It's not about stacking up the pentacles to, you know, just just to stack things up, just to have money piling up in the bank. And and like you're wasting your time, wasting away, working every day and not being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, not being able to enjoy the free time, making excuses not to go out because, oh, I'm busy working. Or I have things to do. I can't really, you know, go to that, um, go bar hopping, go out with you guys. I, I have things that I need to take care of. I feel like these are excuses that you kind of built up, kind of like it's creating this wall around you and it's preventing you from connecting with other people. This is the week where I feel the walls coming down, which is great. Um, money is looking really good. We have here the seven of coins, okay? 
uh, whatever you've been working on is coming to fruition. Okay, it, the the fruiting trees, and it's not just fruits. It's pentacles. It's stability. It's something that you've spent a lot of time on, and it's um. It's evolving. This is also a workplace attraction, okay? Staring at each other across the desk and, you know, making eye contact. And two people who have very similar work ethics, who have similar views when it comes to problem solving and making connections, flirtations and things like that coming in in the work environment. So if you're at work and you're like this, constantly rushing around, getting things, um, getting things accomplished, Possibly multitasking unsuccessfully, dropping a few things and then having to bend over and pick it up again and things like that. I, I feel like, you know, if you've just been keeping your head low and, and nose to the grindstone and working, there is definitely people interested in you in the work environment that you're not aware of. You're, you're like not paying attention. Okay. So take it easy. This should be a fun week. You don't have to slave away so hard. Things will still be there next week, so you know, don't you don't need to rush the process. Okay, just enjoy your time a little bit. I feel like there are a lot of projects, a lot of leads coming in for you guys. And I definitely feel like somebody's carrying a torch for you once again, okay, with this Knight of Wands. This is somebody who's culturally very different from you. They're very exciting, a little bit kind of um sneaky, but not in a bad way. They're kind of um they're playful. They're very playful and they, they've got the hots for you. And I feel like I see somebody coming to you and they're like, guess what I heard? And then they, you know, say whatever's on their mind and then they come back a little bit later. Guess what I just heard again? So it's somebody who's very, very playful and they, they want to catch your attention. They might have a crush on you. I also feel opportunities for you to reconnect, getting messages and things like that from People from your past, in particular, especially exes. We have the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. So this is messages coming through from the past, people wanting you to go out. The Six of Cups, once again, blast from the past. It doesn't have to be bad. I feel like it's just a matter of how you handle it. But I feel either way, somebody is stirring some old feelings within you that you bury deep. Okay, so I'm getting that very deep here. You've took you you've taken it's like dealing with a lot of disappointment or things not getting off the ground. You took your heart out. You buried it underground. You're like, I don't want to feel things. I just want to bury myself in my work, stack up my financial resources and just, you know, do things on my own. I don't want to feel things. I don't want to get hurt. And you've buried it deep. And then this is the week where things start to emerge again. From out of the blue, somebody is stirring some deep passions within you. So Aquarius, go for it. Go with it. This is a good energy for you guys. It's opening you up. And I feel like there are so many things here that indicates to me a good match. Okay? This is a good match. They love each other. They have the common goals, common purpose, common life direction. The Six of Cups is a soulmate type of a connection. You're definitely interested in somebody. And I, I definitely feel once again, you know, the High Priestess and the Magician, great couple energy. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoy your week. I hope this plays out for you guys. It looks really wonderful. And I wish you all the best. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.